our bonus story is called This Scatterbrain Causes Chaos, written by the same artists. Miss Scatterbrain was always forgetting things. Whenever she met Mr Small, she would call up, What a fine day, Mr Tall. Can you believe it? She really was a scatterbrain. On this particular day, Miss Scatterbrain went to the grocer's. Three onions, five tomatoes and two big carrots, please, she said. Are you making a soup? A soup? asked the, zoo the shopkeeper. <laughs> Not at all, replied Miss Scatterbrain, surprised. I'm making a fruit salad for my birthday. And off she went with her vegetables. What a scatterbrain. And you'll never guess what she did next. She got into Mr. Topsy Turvy's car by mistake and drove off. Car, he shouted. Someone's stolen my thief. As usual, he had his words the wrong way round. Or was it the right way wrong? And you won't be surprised to know that Mr. Topsy Turvy's car could only drive backwards. Little Miss Scatterbrain was even more confused than usual. She stopped to ask a cow the way home. Moo, replied the cow. How very scatterbrained to ask a cow the way home. Mr. Topsy Turvy went straight to the police station. A car, he explained, has taken my thief. You mustn't help me. It took the poor policeman a long time to work out what Mr. Topsy Turvy was trying to say. On the other side of the town, Mr. Jelly was having a very bad day. He heard a strange noise coming from downstairs. And as you can imagine, this made him very nervous. In fact, he was hiding under his bed, shaking like a jelly. Home at last, said Miss Scatterbrain. But how odd, I was sure my kitchen was green. Never mind, I must get cooking. In the meantime, Treblin and shaking neck a leaf. Mr. Jelly had made his way downstairs to find out what, what, the, what, the, what the noise was. Imagine his shock when he saw a strange figure in his kitchen. A figure with large, sharp knife. Help me, he stammered, calling the police. Burglars, bandits, pirates, oh calamity. Do not fear, Mr. Jelly. We're on our way, said the policeman. You'd better come with me, Mr. Topsy Turvy, said the policeman. This terrible crime must have something to do with your missing car. With silence blurring, Mr. Topsy Turvy and the policeman arrived at Mr. Jelly's house. My cat, I mean my carpet, I mean my... exclaimed Mr. Topsy Turvy. Car, sir, said the policeman, hopefully. Psst, the... Pirates are in the kitchen, whispered Mr. Jelly to the policeman. Leave this to me, replied the policeman. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, sang the scatterbrain to herself in the kitchen. The policeman couldn't believe his eyes. Pirates indeed, he said smiling. I should have known that you would have something to do with this muddle, and even less a surprise as it's the first of April, April Fool's Day. The 1st of April, said Miss Scatterbrain, very much surprised. Then it's not my birthday after all. My birthday's July, I think, she added. Silly me, but do join me for some fruit salad. Onions, tomatoes, carrots, with sugar. The policeman wasn't sure he liked this type of fruit salad. Mr Topsy Turvy didn't notice how strange it was, because he put his bowl under his hat. I must be going, said Miss Scatterbrain to her friends. Thanks so much for coming, Mr. Right Way and Mr. Fireman. And off she drove. In the police car. Time for our top ten of animal facts.